back inside. And are you ready for lesson three? Um, yeah, it has just got too dark outside. <laughs> it's nice outside. Now you can see all my wispies, but I guess that's all right. Um, everybody's seen them all day, so I guess it's okay. Let me see. Where did your? Here we go. Okay. So, lesson three, chapters nine and ten, vocabulary lesson three, and number one is capricious, showing wit or fancifulness. Fancifulness. So capricious is C A P R I. C I O U S capricious C A P R I C I O U S showing wit or fancifulness. Fancifulness is your second blank and it is spelled F A N C I F U L N E S S fancifulness F A N C I F U L N E S S. One more time. Fancifulness. F A N C I F U L N E S S. Fancifulness. Number two. Ducal of a leader. D U C A L is your first blank for number two. First blank for number two. I should say that first before I start spelling the word, shouldn't I? Sorry. D-U-C-A-L. First blank for number two. D-U-C-A-L. Ducal. D-U-C-A-L. And that is of a leader. And that leader is your second blank on number two. L-E-A-D-E-R. L E A D E R. Okay. Number three. Licentiousness. Licentiousness. L I C E N T I O U S. Licentiousness. Licentious. Licentious. Noness. Licentious. <laughs> I'm going to spell it now. First blank for number three. L I C. E N T I O U S. Licentious. Morally unrestrained. And your first blank, or your second blank rather, second blank for number three is morally. M O R A L L Y. Morally. M O R A L L Y. Morally unrestrained. Number four. The first blank for number four is prolificate. P-R-O-F-L-I-G-A-T-E. Prolificate. P-R-O-F-L-I-G-A-T-E. Immoral and shameless. So your second blank for number four is immoral. I-M-M-O-R-A-L. Second blank for number four, immoral. I-M-M-O-R-A-L. Immoral. So Prince John is pretty well, he's immoral. He's morally bankrupt. He's morally corrupt. He doesn't have good morals or scruples. Number five is essayed. To attempt. Essayed. E-S-S-A-Y-E-D. E S S A Y E D. Essayed. And again, remember, we talked about the ladies in the stands and the, um, and the bleachers. They, as the disinherited knight is riding by them in his armor on this beautiful big war horse, and he is commanding it beautifully and masterfully, and they're trying, they're essaying. They're attempting to act like nothing's going on. I don't know how, but that's what they were doing. So, number six, predilection. Remember that word's kin to predestination. Predilection. P-R-E-D-I-L-E-C-T-I-O-N. 
predilection to prefer. P R E D I L E C T I O N predilection. Number seven, Janet. J E N N E T. Number seven, Janet. J E N N E T. One more time. J E N N E T. And remember that was any breed of small Spanish horse. Horse is your second blank for number seven. H O R S E. H O R S E. Horse is your second blank for number seven. And then number eight is Estrada. And remember, that's the Spanish form of the Diaz. And the Diaz was the raised platform where the head of the household would eat, or it's a raised platform for a speaker, um, kind of a stage kind of a thing. But remember, it's Spanish, but it was in the Jewish household. I thought that was interesting. Did you think that was interesting? I was really wanting to know about that. Okay, so the Estrada, E-S-T-R-A-D-A, -A, Estrada, E-S-T-R-A-D-A, -A, and that is the Spanish, so the second blank is Spanish, which is a capital S. Now again, if you're writing in all caps, doesn't matter, but if you're not, you're using capitals and lowercase, you need a capital S on Spanish. So it's capital S P A N I S H S P capital S P A N I S H Spanish form of the diaz. Number nine, necromancers. Necromancers. Number nine, first blank. Necromancers. N E C R O M A N C E R S, necromancers. I believe that's a 12-letter word. I think I am. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is the longest word I think for this week was necromancers. N-E-C-R-O-M-A-N-C-E-R-S, necromancers. And that's the first blank. The second blank is wizard, W-I-Z-A-R-D. W I Z A R D, wizard. W I Z A R D, wizard or magician who communicates with the dead. Stay away from those guys. Number 10. You want to stay away from these guys too. Kabbalist. C A B A L I S T S. Kabbalist. Yes, Nana has to get herself ready to say that word. Kabbalist. C-A-B-A-L-I-S-T-S. C-A-B-A-L-I-S-T-S. When you're thinking about spelling it, you might think cab a list, Like the list that they had the dual, the, is it a dual? The joust. That <laughs> Poor Nana's brain. You just have to understand. One of these days you will. But anyway. So Kabbalist. Cab A list. Kabbalist. C A B A L I S T S. A follower of the ancient Jewish. Now this is gonna get a capital J if you're not writing all caps already. It's capital J E W. I S H, capital J E W I S H, capital J E W I S H, Jewish mystical tradition of Kabbalah. I had never heard of it, but there you go. We learn. I'm learning a lot. Are you learning a lot? You never answer me. I just want to point that out. It's okay. You don't have to. I know Bella Grace answers me, but I don't get to hear her, but I know she answers. Well, you have a blessed evening or the rest of your day whenever you're doing this, and Nana will see you next time for Chapter 11. Bye, sweetie. Okay. I, 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 goodbye.